because it's not always about pushing forward and pushing through and pushing on. We're A-type personalities. We do that shit standing on our head. Learning how to stop. Now, that's a skill we have not developed. This is Katie Gordon, and you're listening to The Wait Is Over podcast. Welcome health and freedom seekers. Sit back and relax as you come on this journey of overcoming obstacles so you can lose weight, gain health and live the life you've been looking for. Hello listeners and welcome to this week's show. I'm your host Katie Gordon and the wait is over with Dietless Living 360 Degrees. There's no recipes, food regimes or exercise programs to follow. This is simply about how to take your life back, how to take control, because we all have a voice and we want to be heard. We want to forget about dieting, focus on living and lose weight. And to do that, we create a new mindset, a mindset that gets us over the obstacles and challenges of life and our own unconscious programs, because that's really what's impacting on our weight and health and causing habit relapse. And the purpose of this podcast is to share with you what I learned from 25 years in dieting hell and spending over $100,000 working out how to step into dietless living. And today we're talking about grit, that gritty mindset that everyone talks about. So before we carry on, did you listen to episode 36 where we were talking about the plan, you know, your life's direction, how you're moving forward with your life? That episode was all about your why, the reasons why you want to lose weight. And what we're talking about today is the grit that will get you to where you want to go. Because losing weight actually takes a long time. The more weight we have to lose, the longer it's going to take. And it's it's just not a one-time event. We have to be able to maintain our new healthy habits for life. And that's where it really gets tricky, right? We need to have the grit and the fortitude for this stuff. It's, it's not always easy. It does get easier as time goes on, as we start to build in those new habits and as we start to move forward. And naturally, things get easier. The more you do them, the easier they get. Yet two of the things that actually cause habit relapse is struggle and comfort. And we have to overcome the weight loss obstacle of habit relapse for us to be able to maintain our weight loss for life. Makes sense, right? And it's easy to understand how struggle leads to habit relapse because when we struggle, we get tired and fatigued and exhaustion will have you reaching for your favorite food faster than you can blink. But it's also true that when things are going really well, when things get easier, once we start to move into feeling that we are in charge of this, that this is becoming an automatic habit for us, we start to relax into that new comfort zone of those new habits. And really, diligence goes out the window and a vacation state of mind starts to seep in. And old habits either slowly creep back in as the stresses of life ebb and flow for us, or sometimes there's actually an avalanche when we get slam dunked by a big wave of something in life. Maybe someone dies, maybe there's a loss of some kind or a pandemic for starters. You know, when something big happens, that's when we can find that we have a full habit relapse because under pressure, our brain doesn't invent new strategies for dealing with stress. It goes back to the old ones that it knows. So the question is always, do we have the grit that it takes to change our health and our life? Do we have the grit to drop however many kilos it is that we have to drop? And do we have the grit, the actual gritty mindset to prevent that habit relapse? 
Abraham Lincoln is uh, one of his famous quotes is that the price of freedom is eternal vigilance. And Angela Duckworth, in her very popular book about the gritty mindset, said that grit is passion and perseverance for very long-term goals. She said it's about having stamina. It's sticking with your future day in, day out, not just for a week, not just for a month, but for years on end and working really hard to make that future that you want an actual reality. She said that grit is living life like it's a marathon, not a sprint. And she's 100% right, but it sounds like bloody hard work, right? And that's actually why we fail to maintain those habits and have habit relapse. We don't have a mindset to run a lifelong marathon. And seriously, who the hell wants to? It sounds bloody awful. We want to lose weight so that we can have a life, so we can live with joy, so that we can have a bit of peace and a little bit of relief and release ourselves from some of the hardships. And losing weight and walking around overweight is a hardship that we bear. So we don't want to chain ourselves to some kind of a grindstone just so we can maintain that weight loss. So how the hell do we actually break free from the anvil of the weight and the bad habits that created it? How do we develop that gritty mindset? Mindset is actually built over time. It's a habit like everything else. You don't just magically one day have a gritty mindset. You magically one day think, I want to have the the, uh, gritty mindset but it's a skill that we develop over time, the same as every other skill. And that's why it's actually the linchpin to everything else. The gritty mindset comes from developing the skills we need that lead us through to sustainable optimism. That means being able to maintain a positive attitude, not even if things get hard, but a especially when things get hard and things always get bloody hard, don't they? That's the life of a human being. Mindset is knowing about how to manage your energy, knowing what to do when you're fatigued so that you can continue to lead yourself forward and continue to lead yourself forward happily. That's the most important distinction is being able to lead yourself forward happily. The mindset of grit is developed. It's not just about turning up every day and giving 100% of yourself, whatever that may be on any given day, although it is about that. But the gritty mindset is about who you're being when you're turning up, who we are on any given day. And that's really the most important distinction because That's what allows us to actually keep showing up because we will fail. Nobody gets anything right 100% of the time. And we certainly don't get it right 100% of the time when we're just learning. Learning, after all, is a series of pluses and minuses. That's just normal and natural. And we will fall over either metaphorically or perhaps literally. Part of the development of a gritty mindset is about learning how to praise, praise ourselves, praise effort, praise process and praise progress and praising the wins and losses of life. The gritty mindset is about leading ourself, leading ourselves forward. But the real factor in maintaining momentum forward on our quest is actually the skill of stopping, funnily enough, because it's not always about pushing forward and pushing through and pushing on. We're A-type personalities. We do that shit standing on our head. Learning how to stop, now that's a skill we have not developed And that is the the distinctive skill we do need to develop because stopping to reassess and review where we are is just as essential in leading ourselves forward. The thing about life is that we are always 
head down, bum up 95% of the time. And that means we're losing sight of where we're heading. It's like digging a, a hole in your backyard for a pool, right? If you're down in the hole digging all the time and you never get up to have a look around, how do you know if you're digging underneath your neighbor's fence or your own foundations? And as Jim Rowan said, don't wish it was easier. Wish we were better. Life is challenges. There's fun, there's obstacles, there's relaxation, there's moments of joy and laughter and tears and fears. And we just have to learn how to respond to all things better, to develop our mental and emotional fitness. Like that's really what grit is powerful mental and emotional fitness and that's what will get you to where you want to go so thank you for watching or listening today if you want any more help with this just book in for a private session and let's just get it done this week because life is for living and an ounce of adjustment is always easier to implement than 20 pound of change it's time to enjoy the life that you've been looking for